here it is. I bought a dump trailer that looks like it was damaged quite a bit at one point. Um, some hack job welder tried to put in a piece here that's not even welded right. And, but you can see how these braces, there was three braces here that I already took off. And you can see the braces are just completely bent. That one, that one, and that one. I was thinking maybe the cylinder, maybe someone loaded it too heavy and it was heavy to where the cylinder could handle it, but this metal couldn't handle it. So it just caved under the pressure of the metal or under the pressure of the cylinder. I'm not sure what happened to it, but the guy bought it from swore he rebuilt it. I knew he didn't, but I got it at a fair price. So I figured I would just cut those pieces out and replace them. Wouldn't be too big of a job. So that's where we're at. Overall, it's pretty good. It has good tires. It's a decent looking dump. Oh, I already did these touch-ups on these welds here. Because I didn't trust those. The guy said he put this on and I didn't trust that at all. This weld already cracked. I had to crack that he did it. So I had to go over it a bunch of times. I'm going to be replacing that metal. It's thin, cheap metal. I'm going to go ahead and replace it with eight, eighth inch thick tubing. I already got it, so. Oh, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to start by, I already got this one ready to cut out. Like I said, I removed those two, those three, you can see where there was three pieces right there. Supports from there to there. They weren't even welded on at all. They were another, another weld job like like this one right here so uh, yeah I think I'm just gonna cut that one out yeah look at this look at these cracks in there I think I'm gonna just cut that one out leave this one because it has a cylinder for now and then cut this one out and then I can replace that beam replace that beam and then we'll worry about replacing this beam with the cylinder because we got to drop the cylinder and stuff shouldn't be too hard but that's where we're at. That's the plan. Everything else works good. Pump works good. Cylinder strong. Everything else looks pretty solid. All right. Stay tuned. A little bit of fire prevention. Smokey the Pepino would be so proud.
stop one. Well, Sawzall broken. This is the second Ryobi Sawzall I've broken in this past year. I don't know if it's because just heavy usage or I wonder if that happened with a Milwaukee, I don't know. All right, well, I have been grinding and cutting all day and I'm just about to the point where I'm almost happy with this. Um, it's quite a job to get the old welds off of this center piece because I'm reusing this piece, but it's a lot of grinding and a lot of cutting to get this as clean as I did to reuse it. But uh, I got it somewhat decent. It still needs a little bit of grinding just to make sure that the, uh, I mean, this is flush pretty much a little bit more grinding this side looks pretty flush but this corners could get closer look it could get a little closer up here this corner looks good and that corner could get a little closer down there but uh, just a little bit of grinding and I got to hit a level with the new pieces here and make sure that those pieces are straight I mean bottom line is everything's got to be straight because if it's not straight and you weld these and then these beams are crooked when you go to put it back on there the beams are gonna sit sideways and then they're not gonna be able to be welded to the frame because they're not flush on each corner so so overall I think uh, it's pretty decent I'm gonna call it a day work on the rest um, tomorrow and maybe the next day see how far we can get but that's where we're at so far that piece is cleaned up so now all that's got to be done is that piece has got to be welded to those pieces and those pieces once it's one has to be welded to the frame and then that's it i was thinking about replacing this wood but the wood is actually good it's not even rotted out so the wood's actually good i'm happy with the floor and then you know of course you put enough bracing in there it's not going to be an issue but well that's where we're at pick it back up again tomorrow peace Sorry, I forgot to do some recording in between. I just kind of got caught up in the work, but welded this piece to this piece all around when it was off on the ground. Had my girlfriend help me put this piece up and then welded this piece all around on this side and that side. Attached the cylinder back up. It already looks much more sturdy, much more strong. And now I just got to put one more bar right here, weld to the front, and then one more in the back, and then a couple supports. I gotta do some tack welding back there to those hinges, but that's where we're at. Now let me cut the next piece of material here and uh, throw it in front. Okay, here it is. 
trailer is completely done got these hill hinges ridiculously over welded here because this one kept cracking so hopefully that doesn't crack when I put weight on it got the bed painted up with just some rust all on it's not to be fancy just to prevent the rust because it was rusty I patched, plugged this tire up it had a leak in it Charged up the battery. Battery's actually good. And that's it. Nice and straight now, you can see. Everything welded. I use much thicker steel for these three beams in the middle with all the pressure from that ram. So everything looks good. I'm taking it out right now to get a first load on it. I'm gonna put 4,000 pounds in it take it easy at first and uh, see how it does but that's it pretty much completely rebuilt all right let's do it okay well uh, the disappointment has begun here This uh, freshly rebuilt trailer that I just built uh, was destroyed on the first load. Um, you can see these new beams are all bent in and bowed in. You can see the bow in them. Um, I think what happened was when I rebuilt it, I followed what the other guy had done, which I assumed was going to work. But it didn't because when there was a bunch of weight on it and then you started hitting the cylinder, all that all the ram, all that happened was it was pushing those beams back and it wasn't lifting at all. So I think that where I went wrong or where I made the where he made the mistake and then where I followed in his footsteps actually was that the piece connected here to the ram is not connected to the top i think that the ram has to be connected to one piece from there to the top so that that way when it's underweight and it starts to push because it'll be connected up here the push turns into a pull and a lift it's finally stopped pushing it with the remote and i got under there and looked up at it i mean these beams were just completely bent and bowed in these two and then I just managed to straighten them back a little bit by pulling the cylinder back and then you they bent it right back. So it was just moving these things like they were butter. I don't think that they were strong enough. Thought they were. It's eighth inch thick tubing, but well, it's my bad. Now we're going to start all over again and it should be fun.